Hi guys, today's video is going to be one DIY that I've been wanting to do, but I actually did not think that I was going to actually do it Dollar Tree version. But I found these pumpkins at Dollar Tree. They're not ceramic, but I thought, let's see if it'll actually work on wood. So there are these pumpkins at Pottery Barn. I don't know if you guys have like heard of them or seen them or if you actually have them yourselves, but they are gorgeous. They're these like kind of terracotta ceramic style pumpkins. They have the most gorgeous coloring, but they are $89 a pop. I watched this TikTok where this girl decided to dupe it by like going to Home Goods or TJ Maxx and going that route. So I wanted to like kind of give that a try for myself as well. But then I found these pumpkins at Dollar Tree again, completely different material. And I thought, let's see if it actually works on like a wood chip format so we're gonna give it a go usually when i do have like diy fails i don't post them it just i kind of chalk it off to like it, it just didn't turn out well and i usually don't want to put out content like that so whether it's a success or a fail i'm gonna post it anyways and show you guys how i'm gonna try to attempt these 89 dollars pumpkins with a twist because it is a flat pumpkin it's not like obviously a a 3D style pumpkin, but let's see how they turn out compared to Pottery Barn. All right, let's get started in this DIY. First, I'm gonna share with you guys the materials that I used. Everything came from Dollar Tree with the exception of the baking soda. I ordered that from like Amazon just cause I had it on hand. I didn't have like the traditional box, but they sell that at Dollar Tree as well. So you can do this full on everything at Dollar Tree. However, after doing this DIY, I do think that I would do two things different here. I would get a different brush. They kept just like falling apart. As you can see, I'm like picking off all the little hairs. It's just not worth it, you guys. Definitely just go get some like painting brushes from Michaels or your craft store, or Hobby Lobby or wherever. It's just going to be easier. I had to go into my craft room to hunt those down because it just was a pain with all the hairs falling out. So that's the one thing I feel like Dollar Tree definitely needs to prove upon are their paint brushes. But yeah, the second thing that I would also do and it could turn out, actually it would turn out way cheaper than Dollar Tree is buying your paint from Hobby Lobby. Wait for the paint to be on sale and then all you'd have to do is buy one bottle of paint and it could actually be like the perfect terracotta or whatever color pumpkin that you want without having to buy multiple bottles and mixing them. But for the purpose of this video being a Dollar Tree DIY, um, you can see that I was able to get a really pretty color here. However, the other thing that I should have done was I should have just painted more and more layers, but at this point, I had painted like five layers and you could still see that it's a little splotchy so I do think that this project would have been a complete success had I've used better paint from like Hobby Lobby but overall it actually turned out really cute I wasn't quite sure how to handle the baking soda so by the time I got to my second and third pumpkin I was dabbing it on rather than brushing it on like I didn't I did the first one in a brush stroke and I didn't really like it so definitely dab on your baking soda and I think it it kind of looks ceramic. I would say this is, um, I would say this was like an 85% success. Um, other than like making those minor adjustments of the patchiness of the paint and you know just the um, a little bit more of the application of the baking soda but comment down below let me know do you think this was a success or a fail diy and if you are going to try it yourselves i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you next time 